Hey friends, Miranda here, and today I have some movie mail that I wanted to share with you guys. So I did receive a package from a Instagram buddy of mine, Arthur is the bomb. Um, he did uh, post like a picture of some things that he was looking to get rid of, and then he also did find me a Dollar Tree title that was on my wish list. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you. It's just three titles here. All of them are still factory sealed, you guys, and the two that I picked up from him that um, he had posted that he was getting rid of. They're actually upgrades for me. So I did pick up 10,000 BC here. I haven't watched this one in a really long time, so I'm kind of excited to revisit this one. I do have it on DVD, obviously, but again, I haven't, you know, taken the time to revisit it. So I'm very excited to upgrade. And since I have the DVD, I'll probably just, I need to buy some cases um, so that I can just kind of like combo them together. Um, and then I also have this one, which is a, another upgrade for me. And this is Unleashed. I love this movie. It's freaking awesome. Um, I love Jet Li's performance in this one. Just a really great film. Um, so yeah, you guys, an upgrade. And then the Dollar Tree title that he found for me um, is this one's called After the Dark. It looks pretty good. Um, it's kind of like... Um, after like a nuclear apocalypse um, and I guess there's like this teacher and his group of students or something and so it's I guess kind of about them surviving and whatnot so um, it just sounded really interesting I don't really know much else about it but I wanted to go ahead and check it out so thank you Arthur for sending me those all right, and then the other package that I have is a big old box of movies from my buddy James. You guys have heard me mention him time and time again, a million times. Um, he's just totally awesome, you guys. He has been with me for about a year now. I think that's kind of when I started getting more into the whole movie collecting more, you know, Dollar Tree, movie hauling, that kind of stuff. And it was then that we kind of developed this friendship and he's just been really cool, really awesome to talk to, checks in on me and everything. And so, yeah, thank you, buddy. Um, I appreciate you sending all this stuff my way. So he did pick up a bunch of Dollar Tree titles but he also has this one store that he goes to frequently and he posts pictures of like the new arrivals and stuff that they have in there. And so he also did pick me up some titles from that store. Um, so yeah, it's not just Dollar Tree today, you guys. But anywho, let's go ahead and get into this again. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate your friendship and for you always, you know, trading with me and sending stuff my way. So yeah, you guys, it's a big box here. Um, I will tell you, he is fabulous at packaging in case you ever trade with him. Um, he does have a YouTube channel as well as his Instagram page. Like I said, he posts pictures on his Instagram um, and he has like a ton, a ton of Dollar Tree extras if you're looking for anything. So definitely, you know, go check out his channel, show him some love, let him know I sent you. And also, you know, if you're trying to add him on uh, Instagram, just let him know too that I sent you his way. So let's go ahead and see what is in this box because it's a lot, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna randomly pull like little stacks out of the box because like I said, there's a ton. So first up, one of the titles that he actually uh, picked up for me from the one store that I said he has by him is Brave. Now, I've actually never seen this. I think that's probably the only Disney like princess film that I have not seen. I think I've seen like parts of it, but never, you know, the full movie entirely. So I'm excited to finally go ahead and fully watch this one. Um, so we're probably watching this tonight with the girls. We're going to have a little kind of a sleepover kind of, you know, girl night and just watch movies, kick back, you know, kind of thing. Um, next up, we have Disney's Maleficent. Um, this is actually an upgrade for me. I have it on a pirated disc. Yes, I know. Um, so it's pretty crappy. Um, so I'm excited to have this one. I do enjoy the Maleficent movies now. I'll just have to see about getting the second one. Um, he came across this one from Dollar Tree, you guys. This is a Franklin and Friends Adventure Polar Explorer. Um, couple ways back, I found a Franklin uh, movie at Dollar Tree, and I was very happy because this was one of my favorite cartoons growing up on, like, Nick Jr., I think it was, back in the day. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. And this one is actually, like, a movie. Um, 45 minutes, so it's not very long, but still, I thought that was... Uh, you know, cute. Next up, we have the NWA and Easy E Kings of Compton. It's a documentary. I was very excited to see that people were hauling this from Dollar Tree. Did not come to my stores. So I am very excited to check this one out. I love Straight Outta Compton, you guys. 
Um, and but you do have Easy Dr. Dre Ice Cube, MC Ren, and DJ Yella in here. Um, so I love documentaries. You guys know that. Anything based on true stories, uh, tree events, all that good stuff. I love. So we got that one here. Um, then we have this uh, Tom and Jerry No Mice Allowed. Trying to grow my Tom and Jerry collection. You know, can't go wrong with it. Classic from my childhood. And it's just always fun, fun, fun with Tom and Jerry. Moving right along. Pulling some more stuff out of this box. We have the DC Superhero Girls Super Villain High. We have another one that I got a couple waves back and so the girls like them. So I'm pretty sure that they will like this one too. And this one is like an actual movie. The other one that we have is like two like short mini movies. Um, then we have Tom and Jerry Pint Size Pals. Again, more Tom and Jerry here. Uh, we also have some Scooby-Doo. This is the What's New Scooby-Doo Volume 2 Safari So Good. Another classic cartoon from my childhood, so you cannot go wrong with some Scooby in your life. Then we have Sesame Street, a musical celebration. Again, just more, um, more, uh, you know, stuff for the kiddos, cartoons, stuff like that. I love Sesame Street growing up, so, you know, they'll watch it from time to time. But, you know, that would be a cute one to have on hand. Next up, we have The Usual Suspects. This one, it's been so, so long since I've seen. So I am excited to revisit this one. Uh, then we have this one right here. This one actually sounded like a pretty good movie. I looked into it and like the ratings and it just seems like, you know, a nice little rom-com. And it's called A Strange Brand of Happy. I don't really know that I know any of the cast in here but like I said it looked pretty cute um so I wanted to go ahead and check this one out this next one I was watching I don't know I think it was a Dollar Tree title that I was watching and I saw a commercial for this now it kind of has some mixed reviews but it looks like a pretty interesting watch kind of fun maybe I don't know um but Nonetheless, I wanted to go ahead and check it out. He said himself that it was, um, you know, it wasn't all that great, but it wasn't like terrible. Um, and that is Sushi Girl. I know this came out like a long time ago last year. Um, but yeah, I wanted to check that one out. Then he did find me the two movie collection of Cop and a Half. I'm very excited about this one. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I don't even know if this is this. I don't know how many Cop in the Half movies there are. I don't know if there's like the second one. Lou Diamond Phillips, love him. Um, but this one up here though, the original Cop in a Half, I have not seen that one in ages. Probably since I was just a little, little girl. Um, so I'm excited to visit these ones again. Uh, let's see. Next up we have... Uh, Transformers Rescue Bots cartoon I know my son will enjoy. I'm still on the hunt for another one. I think it's, what is it called? Something in disguise, I don't remember. But I know he'll like this one. We have another one that he enjoys, so yeah. Um, this one he picked up at that one store that's by him. Um, and this is to complete my collection. And this is the Santa Claus 3. I have the first and the second. This one actually has the uh, slip case on it, which is nice. I have not seen this one though. This is the only one that I have not seen. So, um, or maybe I, like, I vaguely remember maybe like seeing parts of it, but never full. Um, but I'm excited to visit this one. I mean, it's past Christmas already, but you know, who cares? <laughs> so we'll be watching that soon. All right, so moving along, I think the rest of these are actually, sorry about that. I think the rest of these are actually like all Blu-rays. Um, so from that one store again, he picked me up Finding Nemo. I love Nemo, love Dory. Um, we did not have this one. We have Finding Dory, but I need to see about upgrading because I have it on DVD. Um, but you know, Finding Dory, love that one when it first came out. Next up is a movie I'd been on the hunt for for a while. It just sounded really, really good to me. Oh, and it has him in it. And I just watched a movie with him in that today. <laughs> um, that is The Eclipse. This one sounds like a really, really good watch, you guys. And I was on the hunt for it for like the longest time. Um, it came out like in one of the waves last year and he found it for me. So The Eclipse, but it does sound like a really, really good movie. So excited to check that one out. Next up, we have Gravity. I've heard good things about this. 
um definitely looks like a fun watch here so you know obviously like space related and stuff haven't seen it but looking forward to it next up we have paddington 2 which i'm excited about and i just need to get the first one i want to find the first one on blu-ray um but yeah paddington 2 you guys these are such cute movies um yeah i remember like the books and stuff growing up and so yeah if you haven't seen the paddington movies definitely check them out because they are way way cute this next one, I pretty much wanted just because Selena Gomez is in it and that is Behaving Badly. Haven't seen it. It doesn't have very great reviews, but I thought, what the heck, why not? I'm going to go ahead and check it out anyways. Then, upgrades. There's actually a few upgrades in here. <laughs> Queen of the Damned. Excellent movie, you guys. Excellent, excellent. Aaliyah, man. Wish she was still around. Um, but yeah, great movie. <laughs> My son's excited about this one. Um, this is an upgrade for us. It's the uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. I was like, what the heck? I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade it. I know this came out like, like a couple years ago, Dollar Tree, whatever. But uh, yeah, so Tokyo Drift. We love all the Fast and the Furious movies. So my son's excited for that one. Um, next up, we have Mortal Kombat Legacy. I have not oh, seen this one. I have a, the double feature of one and two on DVD. So I just needed this one. Um, so I'm Blu-ray. So yeah, uh, I'll be checking this one out. I don't know if this is going to be as good as like the first and second, but they're enjoyable movies. Next up, we have Holiday Inn obviously a kind of christmas based movie and it is in black and white um this what year is this from this is from where the heck is it 1942 so i'm excited to check this one out i heard good things about it this next one is one that also just sounded like a really good watch so i want to go ahead and check it out you have paul rudd and emile hirsch in prince avalanche all right, getting down to, well, maybe there's a couple more little stacks here. So let's see. All right, upgrade the emoji movie. I don't know why so many people are hating on the emoji movie. Like, why don't, I don't understand why people don't like it. I honestly thought it's a really super cute movie. Um, so the kiddos enjoy it. I enjoyed it. So I wanted to go ahead and upgrade. We have the DVD. Uh, next up, we have this movie here has a really great cast in it and it is life of crime so it says two common criminals get more than they bargained for after kidnapping the wife of a corrupt real estate developer who shows no interest in paying the one million dollar ransom for her safe return so i don't know it looks like it could be you know kind of funny so got that one there now we're opening um this it. next one to look like a really good no, watch and i've been hearing some good things about this one as well you have julianne moore alec baldwin and kristen stewart in still alice and then we have this movie here that is called the stray and it is based on a true story so obviously i had to pick this one up from him all right three more titles this one i am so so stoked about you guys this is an upgrade but i freaking love this movie i watched it a countless number of times growing up and that is love and basketball yes i love me some sana lathan and some omar epps so yeah you guys fantastic film love it and then these are also upgrades here um i did find number two so I picked up the first and third from him and that is the Spider-Man movie. So we have the triple feature on DVD, like the little set. Um, but like I said, I did find number two and then he found one and three for me. So that completes my upgrades of Spider-Man and my son is over here freaking out right now. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, that is everything that I got from James. Again, go check out his channel, his Instagram, you guys. If you're looking to trade, you're on the hunt for titles, he's your man. So, yeah, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks again, Arthur and James. Bye, guys.